Hey everybody, it's Stable Gamer here, and welcome back to another Mighty Quest for epic loot. <laughs> Knocked my headset off. All right, so in this video, we're going to go ahead and take a look at the newest event in here. I know I'm a little late on this event. Let's go ahead, jump into Trials, and this is what it's going to be right here, down here, the Keeper's Coliseum. We're going to run in there. I'm going to give you some beginner's tips on this event. This is the first event that's come our way in launch. Uh, but first, before we jump into that, if you're just now finding this channel and you want to stay up to date with this and other games, consider hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss out. All right, and welcome back. All right, so we are in Mighty Quest for Epic Loot. <laughs> and in here we have the first uh, we have the first event, which is Keepers Coliseum. I understand that this was an event that came out in beta, and uh, it's pretty interesting. So we're gonna go ahead and go through this really quick. Uh, I'm gonna run through a couple matches, kind of give my perspective on this from a from a launch player, from a beginner's perspective. Uh, but let's go over my character really quick before we jump into this. So this is where I am. We're uh, we're what we're uh, a week or maybe a day shy of a week into this game right now so right now i'm sitting at 109k for my might level here's the gear that i have so far and this is just gear that i'm farming or promoting as i'm leveling through doing a lot of farming of of castles that have already been through so this is where i am this is what i'm going into keepers coliseum with with these skills down there as well i've got meteor shower uh that's what that is right meteor or meteor shower um <laughs> yeah, Meteor, we've got uh, Frenzy here, and then we have Black Hole. And the talents that I've chosen here are my staff right here, the Staff Mastery. I've got uh, Cold Hook, and then I have Lethal Hook running. Um, and I do pretty well, so I'm not finishing in the top. I am finishing the Keeper's Coliseum. I'm finishing it every, every battle, which is fantastic. Um, and it's a cool little event. So let's go ahead and jump into that right now. So we go into Quest trials go to keepers coliseum let's see what we're fighting for milestones so uh we have so we've got 26 hours left in this event it's been going all weekend i was i went on vacation uh and this came out right as i was leaving on vacation so i wasn't able to really dive into this uh but i have been keeping up on it a little bit over the weekend while I was on vacation, but this is what we're fighting for right now. The, if you can max out 600,000 points, which some of you out there may, then uh, reward number 22, you're going to get this nice upgrade, this nice uh, rune right here. And then uh, let's go ahead and scroll down to where I'm at right now. So I've been able to work my way through these rewards here. We've got some some orbs, some bronze keys, some gold, some more orbs. Uh, was able to get some rune and some epic keys there. I am working my way towards this now getting these these uh, orbs right now, these rare orbs, which allow you to level up your gear. And then hopefully, maybe, I might be able to get here, but I'm thinking probably not. So that is where we are right now as far as ranking. Uh, I don't even know if I want to look at this. 18,000 is where I am. Uh, you got people here. Man, look at this. You've got people up here that is uh, just scoring so many points. I'm assuming, I'm assuming these guys, these people here are probably some beta players either that or some major spenders hey man you know what you know what i want to do so my goal in these videos is really kind of kind of looking at the free-to-play aspect of this game how free-to-play friendly is it uh, how competitive are you going to be able to be being free to play and uh, but i'd like to know i mean how much time are you putting into this game and and if you're free to play how far are you how far are you because i'd really like to kind of gauge how i'm doing uh on this because you know this isn't the only game i'm playing but i am definitely having a lot of fun with it i am putting a, a, a i think a, a significant amount of time into it uh and and again i'm having a blast with this game so all right so let's go ahead and uh let's go to the let's see i think where i'm at no not the 55 scroll down to the force you know it'd be nice It'd be nice if next to these torments here, up to 190 points, if it told you the power level without having to hit go. Because I got to hit go, go in there, take a look. Okay, so this is the one I want. I want torment four. I'll be nice to have that on the main screen so you know kind of what you're going instead of having to go, go in there and then go back out. Just kind of a thought. All right, so let's go ahead. We're going to go in there. Now, um, 
Meteor really works in here, uh, and so does Black Hole to really help finish uh, f finish your enemies out really quick. Also, stationary. So, you know, I've tried different spots. So I'm like right over here right now. Where is, uh, where's my people? There we go. Suck them in, use Meteor, boom, and then go back here. So um, they tend to spawn relatively close to where you are. So there we go there. I'll hit that, and uh, I'll just work my way through these guys right here. So in my my uh, my opinion, go ahead and just pick a spot on the map, usually on the rails, in my opinion, um, or pretty much anywhere, and then, um, and then wait for them to spawn and come towards you. Sometimes you got to move out. Um, I will tell you, there we go. I will tell you kind of the easiest corner I found though is uh, actually over here, right about right here. Gives you a good area of the map to look at. And uh, it also, it also seems to be the spot that's uh, easier to kind of get to everybody. So this is kind of where I've been going. Oh, let's get this guy over there. Now, if you want to score in the top section, so I'm at 43. Depending on um, depending on how much attention I'm paying to this, right, right, like right there, it didn't. I didn't really suck too many people in. I didn't really get rid of them too quickly. Uh, but uh, my best time so far has been like down to at, at the 40 second range. But I really want to get that uh, to oh. To over that one minute i want to take uh definitely get rid of these things much quicker let's go ahead and get rid of that that should go there also as far as your enemies there so you see my timer right there at 28 i'm not really doing not going to really do my best time here but um so right underneath there it says 40 so uh the total number of enemies is 55 so i've got 10 left i've got about i think probably two waves to go this one And then, uh, well, that was 53. Oh, looks like he, there we go. There we go. Boom, 54. Sometimes it's 54, sometimes it's 53 from what I noticed. Obviously, yeah, the goal is to clear it within your, uh, within that timer, and then also uh, take the least amount of damage as possible as well. So we did complete it. So you got your level complete here. How many cycles to complete? 12 seconds left on the timer, so you get some points for that what your health is so your health right now 22 percent of health left so i got plus 19 there obviously you want to take as little damage as possible so you can score the most points and then uh, 54 enemies killed total right there so 416 points there we go there we go i got 486 points left let's see if we can do better this next time around let's go ahead and retry you've got three tries every day so let's go ahead and go back in there. I'm going to pay a little bit more attention, probably not as much talking. Um, I've given you pretty much the tips that I have found. Um, there's obviously probably some better gear. I'm going to go over here because this is where I've typically got the best time. Get rid. There we go. Um, and I'm, I'm sure there's much better gear and everything out there as well um, in order to clear this. Now, there's one guy, I do watch uh, a few of his videos, too. Um, so, Sir Randerson, he, uh, he's somebody who has been playing this game since beta. He's, got, he's like in the upper echelon of players. He's got this one gear, this gear, I can't remember what it is, but as you, as you go out there, um, you have some, uh, these blades that shoot out from your character. And he just, he clears them up really quick, which is very cool. Let's go ahead and go over here, suck everybody in. Bloom, Meteor, get them out. Let's get rid of this guy. That guy's usually a loner. Um, I do notice kind of as you get to more difficult levels, then um, let's get rid of these guys really quick. Then uh, the the waves change a little bit. All right, what do we got? We got forty five. We should have two waves left.
All right, one more. Better not spawn on top of me this time again. Almost. Okay, get rid of him. So we did a little bit better on the time. We did better on the health. We'll see kind of where our points stack up. All right, there we go. So 38% health this time. So we got plus 33 points. So health is kind of a huge thing in this one. You get quite a few points there. 25 seconds left. Not, I only got one extra point there. 10 cycles completed still and 54 enemies killed. So 432 points. So the next time I go through this, I'm gonna do. No, I'm not gonna do it right now, but the next time I go through this, I will unlock this next, re uh, next reward at least. Uh, look at that. I did get a level up. Very nice. Got some energy. Well done. Keep on playing. We're not going to do that just yet. And that is pretty much it. That is Keeper's Coliseum. Really want to get your best gear on and uh, the abilities that will help you clear out those enemies as quickly as possible. And remember, take as little damage as possible, if any at all. Um, I really like to see kind of what, um, what you're able to to score if you don't take any damage but that'd be kind of cool anyway there you go everybody that's what i had for you today just a quick video to go over the first event for mighty quest and um as always i want to thank you all for taking the time to watch the video if you liked it make sure to hit that like button and share your thoughts and questions in the comment section below take care everyone we'll talk to you next time